Hello guys, me Carson, it's AK Happy Nine Five, 95 and welcome to another edition of F1 2020 Career Mode. So, basically it's my team once again and still haven't found my niche or my identity of this race team and it's been quite a struggle as I finished in 15th in the world driver standing, so not what I expected out of this race team and I wasn't patient enough driving through traffic and maintaining it to be honest so hope for a better season and just hang on and hope for the best so so here's my qualifying lap right here and thank lord I have not had a qualifying penalty yet so so basically I had a few of those last season and didn't help but at least improving your qualifying position will actually save you some stress and effort to work your way for the field and just score some points. So that's what it takes to be an F1 driver I'm telling you. Just Test that luck and that skill and talent to do it. So, so let's see where I end up. 18th. Okay, that's not dead last, but well, at least for now. Um. Yep, I'm near my teammate Nabuhura Nabushi. Batutita. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce his name. I say Batutita. Uh, I want to say that swear word because I'm not Japanese or Chinese. How they, whatever they, how they say it. So. So there it is, we're on race day for the Australian Grand Prix, so here's the track map right there, and David Crop is one of the best F1 commentators, well, a few of them don't like his, uh, his you know, verbiage sometimes, but hey, it happens in NASCAR too, I feel like Rick Allen. And his commentating, and sometimes he's a little bit goofy at the other end, to be honest. And, well, goofy with Jeff Burton and Steve Latorn on the in the bo NBC booth. That's what it'll take. So, so here's your starting grid for the Australian Grand Prix. So in the front row will be. Lewis Hamilton and Daniel Ricciardo. Hmm. That's a surprise. And it's Max Verstappen and Lando Norris. Charles Leclerc and Esteban Ocon. George Russell and Nouns and Albon. Yeah. Let's just run for the bread. Oh, I start 17. Move up a spot. So uh, here is well. I was gonna edit a few parts and not include the the lap formation like the warm-up lap, but hey, if you want me to fast forward to the start of the race, I will, so that's, that'll be it for this uh, Australian plus the last lap of the Bahrain Grand Prix where I went under Nicholas Latifi and spun out, so I make a happy car in I-5, y'all have a great day and peace out.
magnificent race. We can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrow. So let's review the updated driver's standings. It's a great result for Lewis Hamilton, who moves further ahead at the top of the table. So, Anthony Davidson, who would you rank as your driver of the day? Well, for me, it's got to be Lewis Hamilton. The multiple world champion may be the boring choice at this point, but you can't argue that he's a driver deserving of his reputation. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. Mercedes moved to the top of the table. Another team that excelled today was Williams, who make further progress up the table. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic... today let's have your take on it what was your teammate's secret to success today do you have any comments about the collisions great well that's everything So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so click on that thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content, and if you have any thoughts or feelings about the most recent YouTube video you just saw, share a comment right below the description so I can share some thoughts and feelings with others in the community and make them feel welcome. So. I'm AK Happy Corner 957. Y'all have a great day and peace. Sir.